Alright. Well, I've gone over it with the coarse one now. Uh, now it's time to go over it with a fine one. A lot of grinding on this one. Okay, uh, let me turn the camera off, change tools, and I'll come right back to at you.
है Too bad, not too bad at all. Yep, sitting outside again today. It is a beautiful day today. Bright sunshine and it's gonna be in the low 70s. So I'm gonna be sitting outside and I'm gonna be doing the finish sanding with my 400 grit sponge. I really like these things. And the one thing about the, the sponge itself, now this is a 180. As you as it wears down, <laughs> you can use it as a finer and finer one. Uh, I think this 180 is about a 400 grit right now. So uh, until they can't cut anymore, you can use these and use these and use these, and rinse them off, and just keep using them. Okay, enough about that. Uh, nothing really exciting about sanding this. I will set the camera up and sand it, and I'm going to have to trim this down for the rubber end on it and then uh, I will be able to stain it. I don't know what color I'm going to stain it yet. But anyway, let's get the sanding done first. So let me set the camera up and we'll go from there. Okay, I believe that will be good enough for the sanding. I have to say, a lot of work went into this, this one. Well, as you can see, I'm working on trimming the end down here. Ways to go.
Yep, that'll do it. Now, let me get the camera back up here and around. Somewhere close. I'm going to bring it up. Well, <clears throat> that is what I'm going to do so far today. I, I really like the, the three different designs. And I always do the, <coughs> excuse me, the, the three rings on top. So thank you for watching so far. Uh, the next one will be me staining it. And then it'll dry and then uh, putting a coat of polyurethane on it. And then taking out the, the three rings so I can paint them. So that's what's on the agenda next. So see you then. Hey, what we're gonna do now is we are going to stain the walking stick. And I am gonna go with dark walnut this time. Uh, it doesn't really stain it real, real, real dark like some of the other stuff that I've got. But I wanted it be, to be a little darker uh, for the designs so they show up good. So, let me get the camera set up and uh, the stain mixed and my rubber gloves on and we'll get going. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this in okay. The camera set up okay. Okay, well, we will let that dry for a little bit here. I'll wipe my gloves off a little bit. Alright, I hope you could see what I was doing there. Not a great big deal, but it is a step that I have to take. I'm not going to let it dry too long. I'm going to whip it right back off of there. In fact, once I get this lid put back on, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now it has to dry overnight. Let me get it set up over here. Okay. All right. 
got that done. Gotta wait till tomorrow and that'll be dry and I will use four rot steel wool and go over it and put the first coat of polyurethane on it. Oh, I gotta sign it down at the bottom. So after I do that, then I'm gonna clear the grooves that go around three 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 uh and then uh clear them out and then paint them so i got a little bit of work left to do and then the grip and the lanyard uh, and that should be it <laughs> that should be it <coughs> <coughs> well after i get the rings painted i'll be putting another coat of polyurethane on it too so uh, that's all I got for this one for today. So thank you for sticking with me and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye. And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use and get out there because nature is beautiful. <laughs>